Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So I wanted to bring you guys some late night tea. I've been running around all day with my child. It is prom season, okay? So anyways, I'm back, and I want to talk about the whole Remy Ma and Brittany Taylor situation. So as you guys all know, I've been talking about this from day one when they first got into it. It was alleged over two or three weeks ago that Remy Ma allegedly punched Brittany Taylor in the face. As we all know, Brittany Taylor is messy as hell. All she's ever done on Love & Hip Hop New York is start nothing but drama. And then when folks step to her, all of a sudden she's only four foot ten. And Remy Ma been warned her, been telling her about her mouth, let her know at the reunion that you need to stop popping off. And then when you get the same energy back, all of a sudden you're the victim. Talk about when I see you, I'm going to do right. X, Y, and this. Right. It's no rules like you can't right. jump me though, you can't sneak me though. No. Be prepared. You can't I'm make threats. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like I'm being like jumped right now. Like, I honestly feel like I'm being jumped right now. Like y'all really like doing a lot. Like this is good. I'm oh, sorry. Like this Slow is ass down. Remy, why are you coming because for me, though? Because, because you're sitting here. You why are you coming? Because you I feel like you were just being subliminal. Because you do tell her like that. There's the lie, though. Don't come at her like that. I Mariah, love her. Mariah, let her talk. Because I want to know she could be like that. So she could come at That alone. This has been going on for years. Years. I knew Bianca since 2004 when I had blue hair before people was thought of. <laughs> and this was the same that was going on. I blamed Bianca when me and, her and Yandy sat down. Who did I blame? Me. I got but the problem Bianca that I have and why people too. think I'm taking sides is because I can't sit around and just listen to You can't make threats to people. You can't say anything and then when something happens to you, cry the victim. That's a lot of these bitches do that. And I apologize for getting hype with you because I should have more respect for a queen like you, know I appreciate you saying that, but you, it's not about me being a queen. That's this whole thing. <laughs> this is this ain't about no rap <laughs> on this queen of rap Oh, I don't give a f listen to me. I didn't have everything taken away from me. When I was sitting in that f cell, I wasn't in there praying for a mother song. I was praying for my son. I was praying for my f husband. I was praying for my family. I was praying for my f sanity. So I don't give a f about this rap. What I want you to do, and this is me just being the realest that I can be to you, stop playing these social media games. People get hurt I'm every about day it. from playing on social media. Brittany, you're four. 10, baby. What does that mean? That means that you're really Four little. So allegedly, Remy Ma punched her, supposedly because Brittany was messing with her stepdaughter, who is Papoose's daughter. Um, but what's going on now is this. So as of a few days ago, we started seeing Remy Ma. Remy Ma was taking pictures on her Instagram, and we noticed that she had some fresh jail jewelry, okay? But she was rocking an ankle monitoring bracelet with her cute little black and white outfit. So that kind of raised a lot of red flags, okay? So then after that, TMZ was reporting that Brittany Taylor was allegedly gearing up to sue Remy Ma. So this is what they were saying. They were saying that the woman that Remy Ma allegedly punched at a concert in NYC wants the venue and the police to preserve the surveillance footage of the incident. A sure sign that she's about to sue the rapper. Love and Hip Hop star Brittany Taylor filed legal docs this week asking Irvin Plaza and NYPD to hold on to video, photographs, investigative reports, and all other evidence in connection with her alleged altercation with Remy during the Pretty Lou Benefit concert April 16th. As TMZ reported, Taylor claimed that Remy Ma punched her in the right eye after the two had an argument in the backstage area. Brittany later on went to the hospital for treatment and also filed a police report. This is what was being reported a few days ago is that Brittany was about to sue Remy. And then today, it became breaking news. Remy Ma turned herself in. So what happened is that earlier today, around 3 o'clock, Remy saw a judge and her bail was set at $1,500. Um, she claimed that the accusations made by Taylor are a lie. For instance, Taylor allegedly claimed that the attack happened at 9.30 p.m. Um, Remy's lawyer says that there's video proof that Remy was at home at that time. The lawyer also argued that it's suspicious that Taylor lawyered up with the civil attorney immediately after the attack. The judge ordered a protective order, meaning that Remy is not allowed to have any contact with Taylor. Remy will also have an 8 p.m. curfew. 
So now as of 4.30 p.m. today, Remy Ma has officially bailed out. Um, TMZ cameras caught up to her, but she didn't have shit to say to their ass. Go ahead and check this out. There's new information this afternoon on Remy Ma, the rapper accused of assaulting a third degree assault. Brittany Taylor accuses Remy Ma of punching her in the eye two weeks ago at a benefit concert in Irving Plaza. Both women appear on the show Love and Hip Hop. Do you think, is this you're taking responsibility for the action or? Do, uh, you're saying you were home at the time of the alleged attack, is that true? Pardon. Is that true? Pardon. Is there any message you want to say to your fans today? Pardon. Any message you have for Brittany? Pardon. Was the alleged attack over DJ Nay? All right, so you guys just saw that video. Now, what I find funny about this little itty bitty bitch, Brittany, is that not only does she like to talk a big game and talk tough and, you know, run her mouth, but then it's obvious she's not about that life because the first chance she got, she ran to go call the police and she's possibly filing a lawsuit, okay? But what I find really interesting with this situation, if you guys don't know, for months, this itty bitty bitch was running around talking about her boyfriend, who's not her ex boyfriend. She was dating a young man who is Cindy Lopper's son. Sydney Lopper's son's name is Dex Lopner. She was claiming that he used to beat her ass. He was physically and verbally abusive. She was blasting him. She claimed that, you know, he would call her all types of black bitches and he would belittle her and saying he was born into royalty and she's just a crack baby. And so a lot of people weren't really buying her story. What I find funny about this is that supposedly this man was whooping your ass. He was doing all this to you. But the only thing you did was take it to social media. Now, one time the Britney press charges on this white boy, but she wasted no time pressing charges and supposedly trying to sue Remy Ma. So I find that very, very funny. Now, in Dex's defense, Dex has spoken out and he's basically called Britney a liar. He's saying that Britney made all of this up. He's never put his hands on her. And he's not racist because his, you know, godmother is Patty LaBelle. Okay, Dex Lopper said, man, I'm tired of people lying because I don't want them in my life. I don't hit women. The truth is the truth of all this shit is that the cops try to lock this little girl up for assault and I wouldn't let them take her to jail. I mean, last time she tried this, I posted the warrants charging her where it shows I refuse to press charges. Then he goes on to say charges. The truth of the story, my building through the cop forced me to get a restraining order because they didn't want her there. And I kept refusing to press charges. So it seems like this is Britney's MO, okay? It seems like she lies a lot. She likes to start shit. She likes to instigate stuff. But then again, when she gets that same energy back, it's an issue. Now, I've seen other commenters on Instagram. I have been sent screenshots, and I had to look for those screenshots. Um, basically, people who were there were saying that it was not Remy Ma who hit Britney. They're saying that Remy Ma did not touch that girl, that supposedly Britney was punched by security, but because she was embarrassed by Remy Ma on television, she's held this vendetta against Remy Ma. So this entire situation is crazy, but I don't trust Britney Taylor as far as I can throw her. She comes off as messy and miserable because her career has never taken off. Now, with that being said, if supposedly the accusations are true and Remy Ma hit this girl, then Remy Ma knows that, you know what I'm saying, there's consequences for her actions. And when you're on probation and don't get off until September, you have to walk a fine line. It's one thing that she wasn't on probation, but being that she's still on paper, you really don't want to go around punching bitches, especially bitches who aren't worth it, okay? So hopefully Remy Ma doesn't end up being violated and sent back to prison. I don't think they'll take it that far. But it's a shame that this itty-bitty bitch done created all this damn drama. You know what I'm saying? Remy Ma just had her baby. She's married. She's living her best life. Meanwhile, Ms as Britney is sitting here stirring up a bunch of shit. Now she's over here posing with lawyers and, you know, they're saying she's planning on suing. She's doing a lot for somebody who's so innocent in the situation. Like I said, I don't really believe a word that comes out of her mouth because this is her MO. She starts shit with people, then all of a sudden she's the victim. She did the same thing to Amara Lenegra when they got into it on social media and then she accused her ex-boyfriend of beating her. He's saying he never did no such thing. Now, once again, somebody else is caught in her web of lies, which is Remy Ma. So hopefully Remy Ma did not hit her. But if she did hit her, not saying that it's okay, not excusing it, I can definitely understand why. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Remy Ma turning herself in today on charges that she allegedly assaulted Britney Taylor. How do you guys feel about this situation? Are you buying it? Do you guys believe Britney? Do you feel like Britney's full of shit and she, and she just has a vendetta against Remy Ma? Ma. And then also, do you feel like her credibility is shot because she's lied on so many people in the past and started so much stuff in the past? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.